So to demonstrate image, I have set up two ePlan instance. The white background on the left side is my local ePlan. And on the right side is going to be the user that I want to share the information with. It's a virtual machine for my trainer account. So uh, I have a project here uh, that's already opened. I will open eManage and I will share my um, project with, with eManage by uploading it there. So this is the Im image space. I have only one project been uploaded there. So I'm going to select this project and hit upload. It's going to start uploading. What it's doing actually, it's backing up the project that's CW1 and then uploading it to the cloud with the information. Now it's finalizing the upload. And now the project has been successfully uploaded. Now here, once you are an eManage, you can, can create folders for your project. So for example, I can click here, new folder, and I will I'll say sample project. Okay, and I can just move this project, the sample project there. I can copy paste, cut paste, uh, the project, sorry, inside the sample project folders, I can move things around. You can create folders here for, for customers, various customers, or, or, or uh, different products. It depends on how you want to uh, arrange the content here. Now, I have the project uploaded to the to the eManage. I can see the details on the project by opening the details. I can view the properties of that opening the project. I can see the dates and everything. Uh, I can also... Uh, open the project or browse the project and see the content. So like the document folder, if there are any documents were saved there. Uh, I can also uh, open the image folder and look into the images and view, view them or download them. Okay. Uh, and then also I can uh, open the project in ePlan platform. So if you are having this project opened in a different or open it in a different machine, uh, you just need to uh, open your uh, cloud access to that machine and then you can download the project. You can download it to the latest version that you were work, worked on, you have worked on, or you can dial, uh, download it to previous versions. So you can like even go to uh, 22 or 2.9, open e, open eManage there, and then generate the project file and, and open it into that, that version. You can, uh, you can go down up to 2.7 and you can uh, keep the, that means you can work with the project with the latest version and keep your compatibility for your customers in the case they are using older versions and, and you can uh, share the project with them in an older version. Uh, you can also publish to e, uh, to, e, uh, to eView. So you click on publish to eView, it will start publishing the project so you can view the project uh, in a web-based access without the need to have ePlan uh, installed. So any user with, 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 with a shared account or shared access can view the content there and can redline it and greenline it. Now I can I can also share the project with other users. So if I look at, into my uh, trainer account, I open uh, eManage. Okay. Um, now here I don't see any project at the moment. And then I will go to uh, the sharing of the project. This is the project selected and there's sharing here. And I can click on shared with and I can select a, a, a user to share it with. So now uh, I will start with external user. Okay. I will paste that email account of that other user and click add. This is a, a like shared with the with, the shared method here is as an external user, so it's not have to be does not have to be part of this organization. Uh, I can give it different privilege, so the, either a view, so it can see only the details of the project, or can download the, the entire file. So uh, it depends on what you want to assign to that user. You can also decide for how long you want to keep that that uh, that privilege or that access. You can give, set an expiry date. So now I'm just going to give them the access to download and hit apply. And now I go and open eManage there. Probably um, probably refresh it by, by click update. And now on external, I should see there is a, an organization, a Mutar, my organization, is sharing a project with the user, the date, and the permission is can be even 
can be download downloading the project. So click download and start downloading, uh, decompressing the file, and allow me to extract it to my other installation or other uh, software. I'll be asked if I want to update the database. Say yes, and it will start completing the download and extraction. And now the project is available in, into my trainer account. Now I will go back to uh, my admin account or my uh, local installation, and I will take that privilege back. So I'll go to shared with external users, and I will end that sharing and apply. Now the project is no longer shared with that user, and I can go back to that user and open email again or update it, and then I should not, no longer be able to see that project. So projects, external, nothing. Now, I want to add this user to my organization and add, give them, give, give them the, the privilege to see the project. So um, I will go to user management and I will add that, that user. So users and click the add button, invite via email and paste that email and invite. The user will be added to the list and I can uh, specify the privilege that I want to I want to give to him. So um, I will give him an e-manage access and I can decide what kind of, uh, of role I want to give that user. So I will give them the designer to understand the differences between those uh, those roles. You can click on the explanation mark and the website will be opened and you can see the details here. So roles and e-manage. You can see we have four various roles. Uh, and beside those roles, uh, we have we also have permissions. So if I go to e-manage help, uh, help section, okay, and there is roles and permission for e-manage specifically. Uh, those are the basics of the roles and the overview. Uh, the difference here is just the level of information that uh, that user will, have, will be capable of seeing. And then you can set permissions based on that user um, access to specific specific projects. So this is the, uh, the overview of the permissions. And you see we have view, uh, limited edit, and edit. So view can see only some details. Uh, limited edit can, can see who's the project shared with, what what are the content, you know, the images and the documents that you, that I just show you uh, a few minutes ago. And then we have the edit that, that you know, have the full, full access to uh, all the details of the project. You can view, can open, delete and all that. So basically you can assign uh, a role to the, to the user based on the, on the app level, like in eManage, you can give them designer, user or guest. Uh, and then despite of that role, um, it's it only to get defined at the permission level. So um, a designer, okay, can be given a permission of a view, and then you will not be able to to do anything with the project besides viewing the project. So that that's how much level of of, of control you can have on your data. So I said, uh, e manage uh, designer to that user, and then hit save, and then. Um, I go back to eManage and I click shared with. And maybe I need to update my eManage. <clears throat> okay, and now I go with sharing, shared with, and I do see now I have a trainer account visible into my internal users and I can set what level of privilege to that user. So I'll give him view privilege. Okay. Of course, every time you do an, uh, uh, some kind of a role changing and you give the privilege to access to a specific uh, project, the user will be notified by email. Uh, now this user has already been notified about someone inviting him for a pro for that organization. So I'm gonna reopen eManage. <coughs> Okay, and you'll see here 
Al Mohtar requests to join, so join that organization. Okay. Now I can refresh the window by opening you kind of cloud, plan cloud. Okay, now you see eManage paid version is visible because it was given to that user. Okay, and I should be able to see the projects. Now all I have to do is just to switch to that organization in my interface here. So I'll switch to Al-Mukhtar organization. And now I should be able to see the project that was shared with me. So let me switch to grid view. So here I have the folder for the sample project no content because that project was not shared. But I can see the project that was shared with me. Um, I can see uh, permission that was given. It just view and project details. Uh, open the content also, see the content. Now we can see the, the content, but not, I mean, the content details, but not, not the content themselves. So um, I can images, I can see there is an image called cylinder, but I can't see the image itself. So uh, that's because it's just the view access. I can see the access to e open an e platform. However, when I try to do that, uh, it's not going to allow me because uh, my uh, my, perm my permission is limited. Um, I can also open the project in eView, but if so if I click on Open in eView, I should be able to see the project because I have eView privilege. I select the Mukhtar organization. Now I'm able to see the project, see so the pages, and the schematic page, for example, and I can I can set uh, some redlining. So I'm gonna sign something here. Put some information, change value or something like that, and then I can save this redlining. So I will call this redlining uh, customer comments. Oops. Okay. And then I can set it for review. And then put some comments here. Please review ASAP. And save it. Now, uh, the admin on the other side will be able will be getting a notification. Okay, so probably I need to refresh. So I got an email saying that something happened. So someone has shared a comment with me. It's customer comments and the project name. And then here, if I look at the eView webcast demo, there is a, a, a one comment here, hit open, and now I can see there is more review, one comment, customer comments, and I click on it, I can see the comments on the page, and I can process the comments accordingly. I can even like reject it or approve it, let's say, no, not possible. And then that's basically uh, how you can interact uh, between the, between two different users uh, about the progress of the project, sharing comments back and forth. Of course, the other users will be will be also notified that you see the comments say removed. And if you look at the history, you see removed by me. So um, okay. Um, of course, there are other privileges that you can set on the uh, on the eView. Um, so, if you look at the help section, uh, you will see what type of privileges you can assign to that to the users. Um, you can also give them more privilege or, or not even share the project in order just to keep your your information and your content uh, safe and only and do not give extra 
privilege to to uh, to the users that you don't want them to share that kind of information. Okay, thank you.